Member of the seventh richest family of America, child actress Liesl Pritzker Simmons made a bang when she appeared as Sarah Crew in 1995 drama movie Little Princess. However, the popularity which was brought by acting was soon overshadowed by the popularity of a $6 billion lawsuit she filed against her parents in 2002. She is a former child actress and philanthropist. Liesl, who is also popularly known by her stage name Liesl Matthews, has a pretty strong stance when it comes to equality. If you are curious to find out more about her life, then stay tuned because we've gathered everything you need to know about the 35 years old Liesl Pritzker. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to be the first one to watch our videos. Early Life Liesl Ann Pritzker was born on March 14, 1984 to parents Irene and Robert Pritzker. She was named after the Sound of Music character Liesl Von Trapp. She was raised beside her brother, Matthew Pritzker, and three half-siblings from her father's first marriage. Liesl graduated from New Trier High School in Illinois. To continue her acting from New York, she then began attending classes at Columbia University. Acting Career Liesl got a kickstart acting career from production of To Kill a Mockingbird in Chicago as Scout. After being selected among 10,000 girls in 1995, she starred in Alfonso Cuaron's remake of A Little Princess as Sarah Crew. Liesl began using her stage name Liesl Matthews to honor her brother and also to avoid the conflict of whether or not it would be appropriate to use her stepfather's name and be called Liesl Pritzker Bagley. She portrayed the role of the president's daughter in Wolfgang Petersen's 1997 action thriller Air Force One. The actress has also won a theater award for her performance in Vincent in Brixton. In 2002, she made her stage debut in Neil LaBute's play The Distance From Here at the Almeida Theater in London. Lawsuit being born to one of the wealthiest families in America, Liesl always chose a simpler life. But after finding out that her father and cousins looted her and her brother's trust funds, she filed a lawsuit alleging it to be heinous, obnoxious and offensive as to constitute a fraud. In 2002, during her first year as a Columbia University student, Liesl went on and filed a $6 billion lawsuit against her father and all the Pritzker cousins. She claimed that $1 billion had been taken out of their funds and demanded $5 billion in punitive damages. In early 2005, the lawsuit was settled and the process of splitting the family fortune in 11 ways began. Liesl and Matthew received payouts of $500 million each, including $280 million in cash. They were then given more control over other trusts valued at about the US $170 million each. Career in Philanthropy Being the center of highly publicized drama did not go well for Liesl in terms of her college life. She took a leave from the university and went to India and volunteered with kids and taught yoga to recovering heroin addicts. Following India, she went to Tanzania and worked in a poorly funded microfinance office. Three and a half months later, she returned to America and used 50 million of her lawsuit money to open a non-profit organization in 2008. She donated 4 million to Opportunity International in June 2009 to help expand microfinance services in Africa. The 35 years old philanthropist is the co-founder of IDP Foundation Inc. and Blue Haven Initiative. Personal Life in 2011, Liesl married the heir of Erie Canal, Ian Simmons. Her husband, Ian, is one of the founders of the Blue Haven Initiative. The couple don't have any kids as of now. They currently reside in Boston, Massachusetts area. Liesl, who is also the heiress to the Hyatt Hotel fortune, has an estimated net worth of $500 million as of 2020. What do you think about Liesl Pritzker's philanthropic work? Let us know in the comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. 